Hello and welcome back to Prevention Connection. This week we are continuing our series on cannabis education by discussing safety. We'll go over driving under the influence of cannabis, how cannabis use can impact employment, potency, and securely storing cannabis. Driving under the influence of any substance, including cannabis, is dangerous. Here's why. Cannabis, like alcohol, has been proven to impair the skills needed to drive safely, including concentration, coordination, and reaction time. Because of this, driving under the influence of cannabis increases your risk of getting into a car crash. Just like with alcohol or other drugs, driving under the influence of cannabis is illegal. If you are under the influence of cannabis while operating a car, boat, or any other vehicle, you can be arrested for driving under the influence. In addition, if you are pulled over for a traffic violation and an officer detects the odor of cannabis, a vehicle search is legal. Similar to how you cannot drive a vehicle with open alcohol containers or while passengers are actively drinking, it is illegal for passengers in vehicles to consume cannabis. In California, cannabis is legal for medicinal and recreational purposes. However, Proposition 64 clearly specifies an employer's right to a drug-free workplace. This is generally done through policies and drug testing at pre-employment, suspicion of impairment, or after an accident. Additionally, California employers who work with the federal government must comply with the Federal Drug-Free Workplace Act, which requires employers to maintain drug-free workplace policies. Unlike alcohol, the human body does not process cannabis in a linear fashion. This is because not all cannabis products are the same, and the way cannabis can be consumed varies. Potency also varies between different forms of cannabis, increasing risks of unintended side effects. Symptoms of consuming too much cannabis are similar to the typical effects of using cannabis, but more severe. These symptoms may include extreme confusion, anxiety, paranoia, panic, increased heart rate, delusions or hallucinations, increased blood pressure, and severe nausea or vomiting. These symptoms also vary depending on how the cannabis was ingested. Smoking, vaping, dabbing, and eating cannabis products all have the potential to produce these symptoms because the amount of THC in these products can vary significantly. Because potency varies, safe and secure storage is extremely important. Children, even young children, can easily access cannabis products in their original packaging. As cannabis becomes legal for medicinal and recreational use across the country, the consumption of edible cannabis products has increased. Baked goods, candies, and even beverages that contain THC are now widely available. And considering these are items a child could see as a special treat, that makes edible cannabis particularly risky. It is important to keep cannabis products in secure lock containers and out of the reach of those who are vulnerable to its effects. A lockbox provides a safe and secure method for storing cannabis products. If your child accidentally ingests cannabis, seek medical help immediately. Just like alcohol, consuming cannabis can be risky. If you're thinking about consuming cannabis, do so safely and responsibly, and remember to never provide cannabis to children and individuals under the age of 21. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll be discussing the risk of youth use, so be sure to subscribe to never miss a video.